you. Welcome to Geekism and welcome back to Foundation where we're cracking on here in Geekton. I'm going to move my microphone. Sorry about that. Um, okay, so last episode we got sheep set up, which in turn was producing uh, wool, which in turn was producing uh, cloth, and which in turn was producing common clothes. And I think, did we start selling clothes down here? Yes, we now have common clothes available. So I do think we can start pushing towards having some uh, commoners in the place. Um, let me think about it. Do Have we started leveling up our, uh, our soldiers now? Because somebody did point out that we needed those little uh, duties there, which we have got. Let's have a look. Army. Uh, soldiers. Okay, so I think wounded ones just kind of have to hang out. I think they kind of, you know, sort their lives out. So, perhaps then, we can look at the beginning of setting up uh, a blacksmith. Because uh, we're going to need swords for them. We're, we still don't buy our own tool. We still, sorry, don't make our own tools, which is kind of crazy. So, I do think that perhaps this iron deposit here is probably our next sort of uh, big conquest, so to speak. So... Yeah, we need to, first of all, we need to look at getting territory up to here. Let's have a look. So if we open, I, mean, I would like that one really because the path sort of naturally follows up, but we'll definitely do that one. It's going to cost us 50 coins a week. Cash-wise, we're doing okay now. So we'll probably just have to have a line going up this way. We don't really want the mine to be part of the city so so much, so that doesn't bother me too much. Uh, resource production, let's have a look. We Can we do it yet? Iron, so we have a smelter. So maybe, or do we? Is it? Do we click on it? Edit building. There we go. Okay, so it's the, the building is its own thing. Okay, how many people do we have currently unemployed? Nine. Great. Uh, that's not great, but it means there are going to be people who come and work here. So we need tools and wood to make an iron quarry, and I think they just get attached to these. So do we do two? They are the only major requirements. I'm going to say we do two. We also need a resource depot. Is that... That's that thing, is it? Okay. So that's... Ah, uh, that I see. That's where the actual stuff is going to get mined to. That's the the, the the dot there that gets picked up. Small decorative cranes. I mean, I'm all about having those in places. And a cart. Sure. Let's throw a little... I don't know whether that's going to make that rock sort of fall in. There we go. Okay. Build it. Have at it. Oh, some stuff's just already half broke there. That's interesting. Um, okay, so our builders will flood over. Talking of which, do we have many builders at the moment there? Let's have a look. Uh, buildings. No, what's the best way of doing this? Villagers by job. There we go. Builder, 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 builder. Yeah, as we do, we have a couple of, couple of decent builder sizes uh, set up. So we're going to speed this up. They'll all start running over with stuff. Uh, perhaps first job is to is to waylay some trees, perhaps? Yeah. There we go. Yeah, okay. So job number one is trees. So some of them are making the path. Some of them are going to start making another one over here. What have we got down here? Is this is this stone that we're... Huh. Can we... Can we... Where's our stone here? Can we... We can't actually access that stone, so it might be that this is stone here. And if so, I think I might bring stone production up to here as well. It takes it a little bit further out of the city, but this is good. This is prime real estate here that we're not really using right now. So I might actually think about bringing, um, bringing stone production over to here. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. So they are using the path. It seems to be that once the path gets really set in place, they'll use it rather than the shortest route. But that's fine, because I would like to make all of this housing eventually as well. So, okay. They're going at that. I like the clappers, which is good. Um, okay. Here's something I want to do. I see we have this little house here. I'm actually going to... Uh, can we can we do this? Can we add a node? I can't remember whether that's a thing or not. I think we can sort of do this. I want to basically want to carry this around here. There we go. 
Um, where, where, they're, where they're naturally making the line, I basically want to make that the land. There we go. Um, and actually, I suppose... Maybe, anyway, I can just read the destructions, can't I? Uh, remove. Control removes one. There we go. Do we have to... I think we have to redo that bush, but that's okay. He says. Um, so what I might do, actually, is bring this up this way. Um, so to carry this on. Huh. Now we have this one little house here, and I wonder if would it look terrible to have that as like a like almost like a little man like a gatehouse? You know, do something like that with it. Probably have to start a new hedge. Maybe if we do something like this. Like that. And then if we unsharpen that one. There we go. Okay. Okay. I'll pull that in so it makes more sense that size. It does cut into that ladder a little bit, but I'm not going to be crazy offended by that. Okay. I don't hate that. And then we have a spot here for something. Uh, we have no mods installed yet. We are going to have to start looking at some decorative mods soon, I think. Because, because at some point we are going to need to start to... Uh, Look at some things that can go here. I mean, I suppose we could just make it a nice little flower garden. See, that one just got built automatically. I don't really understand how this works. Uh, let's put a road sign there. Sure. Build, build, build. There we go. So somebody does have to come and build that road sign, weirdly. Okay. Some stuff, of that, some stuff that sort of size will just pop itself up, and other stuff has to get built. So, quarry... Planks and tools, so it's all there. We're just waiting to get constructed now. That's awesome. Um, okay, so yeah, we've got a bit more space here. These, I don't know. Looks like we've placed those in, yeah. So those ones that are there, do we have to just... Uh, we have to just adjust those ourselves, I guess. There's no way of moving them, is there? Locate it, destroy, yeah. Relocate would be great. But if not, that's fine. We can go up here and... Uh, I quite like those ones as well. I think square probably meets the criteria of a gate a little bit more. Meh. The sheep are very loud. Yes, there we go. And there we have a little bit more land to play with there in the Lord's Manor. Looks nice. Oopsie daisy. Uh, okay. This will tell us when it's done. It looks like it's so close to being done. Builder... So one thing is finished. There we go. So we can have four miners here. One, two, three, four. We will get them started straight away. We still have five people uh, unavailable. It's the employment is low, and that's the reason why immigration is low. So that is, I think, it just sits here. They mine it from there, and it comes and sits here. Now, now do we have any use for un uh, ored iron, if that even makes sense. Do we have any use for iron that isn't turned into ore? Because we obviously have a blacksmith who uses tools for iron and coal. Smelter produces an iron for a coal. Charcoal does charcoal. Cooperage needs iron bars as well. Glass smelter needs quartz and coal. Yeah, so it looks like, actually, there's no reason not to blacksmith it all up. In which case, I can't really see a reason not to just build this. I suppose we could put it on the corner here. That would look pretty cool. There's no reason not to build this right here. So the blacksmith has always got a constant supply of the iron uh, they require. So we've got charcoal. And this is just a woodcutting area. This is just a resource zone here, right? Wood, coal, and iron. Yeah, that's, uh, that's already got our finished iron there. Okay. Huh. Yeah, I think I think I would like to re-establish this as stone cutting stone. So stone 
Which one's stone? Stone cutter camp. It's just such a small little building, isn't it? Um, but all this is stone here. This is all definite. Yeah. Okay. Stone cutter's camp. Get it built. Uh, stone mason next to you there. Build that there. So I think a warehouse over here that looks after iron and stone is probably not a terrible idea. And maybe we move the charcoal up to here as well, actually. So we do charcoal, stone. Yeah, this all seems to make perfect sense in my head. Build that. And then we'll have a warehouse. Uh, which one's that? Goods production? No. Goods logistics? There we go. Warehouse, resource, material, goods, and luxury. Yeah, okay. So we'll have one of these on the other side of the road from the blacksmith. There we go. Okay. Wow, we're really cooking on gas here. We've got a lot of production going on. Uh, berries, still a little low. Fish and bread, we're doing fine. Sorry, just taking a drink. What's that? Oh, that's wool. Okay. So wool, cloth, and clothes. We're doing fine. Uh, Bailey's available for a mandate. I do kind of want to start finding what else is here, because that just seems obvious. So it's that one. So start on that, because if that's, if that's quartz there, or gold, it kind of looks goldy, but I don't know whether that's just not a thing. But yeah, if we find quartz there or gold there, that would be awesome. That stone cutter camp is done. So now what should happen is if we just get rid of this one. The folks who were working there. Should. Two of which have been assigned. So now what we do is go to paint and go to extraction. Um... And paint that area in there, basically. Yep, they've gone and found it. That's awesome. Okay, so we'll take all of that off for a second. Put it back on the berries. Okay, happy with that. So that's stone cutter. And that's a builder's workshop there as well. Okay, so stonemasons is done. So we can destroy that one. So we should have one. This should be full of people now, stone cutters. Yeah, they've all made their way over. That's good. This guy, this stone cutter should do the same. Perfect. So all we've done there really is moved it from there over to there. Not great probably as far as their living situation is concerned, but we are allowing them to move. Um, they, you know, they can, I'm pretty sure they can move house. I don't think that's a thing that we've turned on or off. Are these both work builders workshops? Okay. So what I'm going to do then is find a way of building a builders workshop up here that kind of sits uh, comfortably. I mean, probably off the back of the stone like we did last time would look fine. Just makes it look like a, a nice neat building. So we'll build that. That just gets built straight out. This one is gonna close down. Three, delete. So basically all we're doing is spreading everyone out just a little bit more and one of them has moved over and the others should, I think when they find, when they come to work that day. I think. Or perhaps have they gone elsewhere where there was space for them? Oh, no, two. Yeah, there you go. I think it just the next day they do work. I think they figure that out and move. Um, okay, so stone cutting has made its way over here now. Iron. I mean, we're getting stocked on the iron. There's like it will hold 200 there, which is kind of crazy. So I always feel like we don't need this to hold raw iron. This can hold polished stone. This can just. This is just going to hold finished product. This is going to hold polished stone. Cut iron, or, or iron ore, I guess. Okay, there's a charcoal hut, so now we can get rid of this one. And they'll move over. Because then this is just going to be, this could just become big residential here. It's right by the market. People would be happy to live there. It's between market and work for them. Yeah, I think, I think people are going to be fine with that. Charcoal hut has got people working. That's good. The warehouse is built. That's great. So this is a new warehouse, so we will put staff in here. We're going to assign this to be polished stone, uh, iron ore, um, char uh, coal, because we're going to need somewhere for it to go. Sorry, iron bars, sorry. Coal and... Hmm. 
I mean, there's no reason why we don't start building something here, tools here, right? Because we've got the coal and the iron now needed for something like tools. Which one is it? Produces iron. Ah, we, is it the smelter we haven't built yet? We put in a blacksmith in. That produces coal. Ah, okay. So we have messed that up a little bit. We need this in place first. Um, that's fine. We'll have a look what that looks like when it's done. That will have to hold on. We have got some iron, so at least it can begin doing something. Yeah. Okay. Okay, happy with that change there. Uh, this this stuff could go a little further out as well, I think. And all of this... Because this is all just prime real, real estate, really, here. Right by the market in the middle of the town. We'll get a tavern here eventually. Storage is full. Where is the storage full? Oh, grain. Not fussed about that at all. Just make all the bread. Thank you. Uh, okay, how's church filling up? The bell ringing, I think, usually means that they all start piling in. So we'll see how that does. Uh, when's it going to be our next... Okay, so nearly ready for an upgrade. I want to I wanna have this ready before that happens so let's move this Where, where's the where's the territory is that was that our problem oh no we're pretty open now okay so what we're gonna do is actually move this outside of the city gates uh, i really wish there was a move the building button but okay so this is a forester's camp lumber camp and then this is just storage right okay so forester um forester camp needs to come right up here or it needs to be tucked out into the trees itself. Oh, hello. Uh, the trading prowess has inspired some of your villagers, and they wish to build an automated fountain masterpiece to honour the occasion. Significantly to improve the desirability of an area. A minimum number of non-decorative parts, including masterpiece parts. Very well. Okay. I don't think we're quite there yet. We do have the polished stone, but... Is it here? Masterpiece. Automated fair piece, uh, this is met, can be placed as a standalone building or by editing an existing monument. Okay. Okay, well give us a minute then. We'll get on that just in one sec. Um, let's just finish some of the lower level stuff that we need at the moment. So that's going to go there. We'll build the lumber camp just off it, I guess. Or maybe the other side of this. There we go, build that. Okay. Blacksmith built. Nice. That's going to be a new building, so we'll assign a couple of blacksmiths to that. They can get started because we do have some iron. My goodness, it's on a bit of a slope, but that's fine. How's it look from the sides? Good. It's going to be a little jump up into there, but sure. Okay, so with that in mind then, we now need to build the uh, iron smelter itself. I'm going to put this across the road. Where's the doors? One and two. So if we go... Where's the real... Bunch down there, eh? Yeah, let's go there. Makes that side door inaccessible. But the, as long as the front one is, I think it's okay. Oh, I hope that's just construction. That goes away. No access to service. Are we full, full, full? Oh, it's all dropped off now. I wonder if that was no access because you couldn't get there or no access because it was full. I feel like it would be pretty crazy if it's full uh, okay promotion is nearly available let's we've just got to sort this out the lumber camp the forester camp is done so we can destroy that yes the lumber camp is done so we can destroy that yes okay so they're both gone really want this to be residential so we're gonna to have to destroy that warehouse and i hope the stuff doesn't go away but if it does are we really losing much we're losing some iron I'm just going to go for it and see what happens. We probably just lose that resource, but that's fine. We can cope. I really want this to all be residential before... Um, yeah, before, uh, before this new wave. So we're going to say all of this. It's now residential. We've still got a little, little line there we're working on. Um, yeah, I mean, that's that's pretty much, isn't it? We can we want to try and coat the back of the church empty. Um, and then the next probably space that we'll go is here. But for now, this isn't that bad. That's not that's not quite completely undesirable. The only thing I will do is stick a well in there as soon as stuff starts getting built. Okay, 
So, how are we doing for cash? Pretty good. We can do all of our serfs. Cool. Um, and then we're going to start doing five commoners at a time. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. That will have unlocked a new tier, which is awesome. What's that allowed us to now build? Cooperage produces barrels for planks, iron, and tools. Okay, just that for now. We will worry about that one next time. And also, new food. We can do... We can make beer! Huzzah! Wheat tops and water. We've already got lots of wheat. We've got too much wheat, really. Where is our wheat? Flour. Wheat, 50. Ah, so actually, most of the wheat is actually getting turned into bread right now, so... You can slow the bread production down a little bit, but I, I wouldn't mind so much about that. We've got 300 currently sat there. Um, okay, go ahead. Let's see all your new houses, guys. Oh, there's one going up there, look. All right, well, I was kind of hoping for more than one, but sure. Quartz deposit. Is that quartz? Oh, you beauty. So with quartz, it's, it's glass we can do, isn't it, I think? Uh... Glass melter produces glass in exchange for quartz and coal. Okay, so we require citizens for that, so we're a little bit off that. Housing insufficient. I mean, literally build your house then. Like, come on now. Uh, yeah, because all this space is available, right? I mean, we could do, I mean, residential. Mm, yeah, all of this. All of this. Uh, I'm actually going to get rid of that one as well. We'll build a new one somewhere. Uh, build this workshop. Where, where's one of these going to be not offensive? Uh, how about here on the back of this building? Like The good thing about these is that it just looks like a tool shed. So you can literally just throw this up. It's like a lean-to, basically, isn't it? So we can throw that there, and it just looks... I mean, you wouldn't even notice it was a building. So that's fine. Just gives them some more options when it comes to residential. They can come right down here to the market now. Um, just kind of need to keep that area, I suppose. Well, they're not going to build there, but yeah, sure. There you go. It's quite desirable, that, actually. And maybe what if something gets built here, we can throw the uh, the buried place on the back of it. And again, it'll look just a little bit more neat. Villager path blocked. Oh, can you no longer get out of there? Oh, you poor little so-and-so. Okay, well, we'll try that again. Try it this side. <laughs> there, there's where it goes, look. Right in there. Okay, that should be fine. Building wise, yeah, a couple have gone up over here. I'm gonna guess the people who work in here work minor. Minor, yeah, that all makes sense. Over here, what do you do? Six people, geez. Woodcutter, transporter, minor, minor, transporter, and transporter. So they're gonna be they're gonna be working in that transport over there. Cool. Okay. Well, all of that is acceptable. Uh, are the paints for this wood still fine? Uh, Restar station can be there. Happy for them to fill in around themselves. Uh, extraction. I don't understand why that line happens there, but that one doesn't. Oh, there we go. That's weird. Okay, yeah, all that can be a thing. You're right there if you need to. Okay. No access to comfort. Who hasn't got access to comfort? I'm assuming your house is getting built. He's a builder. What are you going to go and build? Housing insufficient. So build houses then. You've got all this space. We've got everything we need for house building, haven't we? We've got planks, we've got wood, yeah. So build some houses, you lazy little... Residential. All of this area here is zoned for residential. Do we need to put a monument down? Is that what it is? If we, if we throw a monument down here, are they gonna, they gonna start being happy? And I suppose this spot here is fine. 
So... Core decorative, core decorative, core decorative. Okay. So, jeez, they're huge! Okay, so... Huh. What do we go? Do we go over here so it's got more access there? But then, like, not necessarily. Yeah, it's only sort of helping this area. I don't know. A basin, an automaton, and a core is what we need. Okay. Uh, it just really seems like a really good spot for it, doesn't it? Fine. It's a basin. That's a steeped base. So we need a basin, we need a core. Or oh, we can have that one. Well, I think that's quite nice, isn't it? What happens when you lift that up? Okay, not much. What do we need to build this thing, by the way? Gold, we don't have. We could buy it, probably. Marble, where the hell are we getting marble from? Okay, there you go. It's small, but... The little dude, he just sort of comes and pops out, does he? Actually, not really into those. Yeah, not really into those. So, manager parts are missing, or the upfront cost can't be paid. Uh, oh, oh, we do need. Oh, we need one of those. Okay, well, I suppose it's this little goofball then. No, uh, maybe the bird. Yeah, I suppose the birds is less offensive. We click build on that. It's probably going to take forever. We don't even have a, like a sculptor's place yet, I'm sure. Okay, blacksmith is missing raw material. What are you missing now? You're missing the iron. That's fine. The iron smelter, it now exists. So he's just made tools out of the iron we had. Blacksmith will now start generating actual uh, iron bars. Okay. Cool. So at this point, we can reevaluate trade. Because we're definitely trading stuff that we don't want. We're buying tools and we don't need to. We can actually we can actually start selling tools when we have well we normally do 50. So I suppose we'll continue doing the same. So sell anything over 50. Um, which we also already do with everything else. Clothes are we doing that with? Yeah bread and everything yeah i don't know whether people actually anyone who comes here wants to buy them currently we can unlock this for 20 clothes now nice oh and they will buy tools and they'll buy bread as well oh why can't we do that we literally could do that a second ago there are 55 clothes they're just not sat in storage i guess they have to be in storage i think there are 19 there we go okay Let's try that again then. I mean, we just might as well do that, right? Because we're just going to be gaining income from it. Two people now work here. Storage is full. Where is the storage full? The storage is full of, what's that, wool? 50 cloth there. And there's no cloth there. Well, as soon as the tailor comes into work, they'll get that sorted. Don't you panic yourselves, folks. So housing insufficient. Who, why do you not have a house? You're a builder. Where do you work? View workplace. View home. They don't have one. They're view workplace. So they work there. So why, pray tell, are you not just happy building somewhere to live? Let's let's try this. Let's remove that as extraction. And as reforestation. Alright. And then we'll remove this just to the wind the, the door there and then we'll paint residential in right, where can we go to it's uh, it's literally just that spot but if you if that's what you insist on living that close to work then more fool you i suppose i can only assume that it's just really not uh desirable you know so i do i think i always remember the wells helping Where's, is, is it underwater? Food production? Is that it? 
Yeah, well, I, I, I do have memories of the well helping. So do you know what? I'm gonna let's we get let's get rid of this. We're we're so far off that there's no there's no point in even putting it there. We'll put down a well in this in the same spot. Hmm, same spot. Where is the one already? There's one there. Hmm, that's pretty close. We could move one. So where do we have wells? There's not. There isn't even one over here. Look, is there? Oh yeah, there's one there right by that building. That's a bit of a gross spot for it. It should be there. Um, and I'm assuming there's one here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so well, well, well. <laughs> Um, let's go for here. We'll put a well down. We'll build it. And then we'll build a tiny little market square here that may well do what they want us to do. So, uh, I don't remember where anything is. Logistics? Market. Okay. This will become a market. Food stall? Food stall. Uh, that way. Food stall. Chancy is going to remember to shift click this time, ready. Food stall. Actually, we don't need another one though. We need goods. <laughs> uh, and then goods over here. A space for expansion later on. Uh, I'll put a couple of tents on this stuff because, let's be honest. They look amazing, and it's and it's good from like at a glance that we can see where the the market is as well. So we're going to put some barrels up against the well here. Let's really um, geekify this up. Let's do let's do this as people come in. Well built, nice. Do it that way. They would. They wouldn't be. They wouldn't do it that. They do it like that, wouldn't they? Okay. A couple here. We need to start to zone this area out a little, eh? Some benches. Where would the would there be benches against a well? Is that a thing? It's not really a thing, is it? Maybe. Maybe like this. There you go. That's a nice looking market. Let's click build on that. It's going to need a lot of wool. Uh, but that's okay. Um, or oh, cloth, is it? I guess it's cloth, isn't it? These things are all like 10 cloth each. Kind of crazy. So we could probably push this out now. Like we, all of this, we this line here, we just followed the trees. So we can completely push this out here and get rid of these trees for more residential space. Because this is going to become very desirable. It's right by this one. That's the thing that blows my mind is that that isn't close enough. But, you know. So what I... What we might do is move this market actually down into this area. Maybe even lose a house. Maybe not. Maybe lose that house and readjust this market to there. That's probably not a terrible idea. I think. I think rezoning areas here and re and removing areas and stuff is a big part of this game and more so than uh, than than other games of this style. I think so. Smelters are waiting on coal. Literally 32 of it there. Village path blocked. Where are you blocked? Ah. Ah. You are stuck because of this bit of twig. I am, I'm going to guess. That fence there. Boop. Boop. There you go, boy. I know it's tricky, isn't it? Walking around things. Do you know what? The, the pathing is pretty good. The, the AI is pretty good in this, considering you can build them so sort of out there, you know. Uh, okay, cool. Right, we'll let that market get done. In the next episode, we'll remove this market and we'll take a look at what we need to start building statues because they are going to be cool. But let's be honest, we don't want one sat in the middle of the by the wood. Here. We want it in our Lord's Manor, don't we? Of course we do. We're the we're the big guys. We're the we're the boss. We're the top. Um, yeah. Okay, we'll do that. So we've got we've done all we've done quite a lot this episode actually. We did all of this and all of this new market as well. Well, we will do when it's finished anyway. Brill. Looking forward to the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Till then, be good.